Civil 3D 2011 includes a new way of calculating superelevation. In previous versions we would look at the alignment properties where there would be a superelevation tab for us to calculate our superelevation. This is now included as a separate item on the ribbon and is wizard driven. We can select from the wizard the type of road and then we can select various parameters such as the lane width and slope. How we control shoulders for super elevation, which design criteria we will use, in this case it's set to UK TD93 standard, and we're going to select an option to calculate the super elevation without spiral curves. We're applying a two thirds, one thirds ratio. These labels on the alignment indicate where the superelevation critical changes are and the crossfall on the carriageway at each change. What's new about this superelevation calculation is that when I modify my curve parameters, the superelevation is recalculated automatically. It is, in fact, dynamic. We can look at the panorama viewer to edit the super elevation properties in tabular form. We can change the critical changes and the crossfall on the road at any position. Notice we have different sections for the two curves on the alignment. As well as using the panorama viewer to edit the super elevation in tabular form, we can also call up this visual super elevation view. This shows us a graph-like view with the critical changes and the crossfall shown as a diagram. If we select the items in the view, you'll notice that we actually get a series of grips on the graph and we can drag the grips or use our dynamic input to type in a value. So in this case we're moving a change value and we're changing the crossfall at that critical change. This is actually quite a nice way of visually editing the super elevation along our road. Notice the curves here allowing us to smooth the application of super elevation at the critical changes. In Civil 3D 2011 we also have a new way of applying curve widening around an alignment. In this example I'm going to create some alignment offsets for my road design and then we will get Civil 3D to apply automatic widening around the curve. So we can select our widening criteria. We can use a design standards file to control the widening or we can specify the widening manually by actually typing in our widening criteria. In this case I'm going to do it manually just so it's more easily visible on the screen. We can see now that the left side of the curve has been widened. You'll see a transition change area. And we can edit the curve and the widening will simply move with the main alignment as we drag it around.